Oh, so you just you won your war. Yeah, I didn't. Did, you did take over quite a good chunk of that. I did not think it was going to be quite so much as that. Well, Sorry. I'm going to take Sandomir's then. So, uh, uh yeah. How About dare you? That. How very dare you? Right. Okay. Let's let's <laughs> let's get this sorted then, shall we? Sorry, I kind of already declared. And he is my cousin. So that means I get to kill him. First dibs, man. Family rules. Yeah, um, I didn't actually think it was going to give me that in my defense, Mo. Sorry. That's like how Mozovia is just going to be like this triple state spread out. Well, but I can then take Chervin after that because screw Chervin in particular. <laughs> Costa Relian. Have you actually declared on Sandomir's? Yeah, I, I said, yeah, I, I've already declared. Sorry. <laughs> I've been waiting to kill them for a while. Are you the army of Chersk? Yes. Yes. Right, let's create a kingdom. Oh, nice crumb. I am now a mighty king. Yay. The King of Vladimir. Nice. King Kvilio. Kvilio? I'm kind of disappointed you're not like Connie. Oh, or... don't worry. His ear will be even better than whatever he's called now. Yeah. Punny. It will be something quite punny, I'm sure. My current ear is puppy. <clears throat> Well, that guy was my court physician, not my court. Oh, God. Gave the wrong person land. Damn it. <laughs> An easy mistake to make. The, the buttons are like right beside each are you, other. Are you actually going to continue conquering sand on yours? Do you wish me not to? Well, kind of, yeah. Because you were busy conquering um, Lower Silesia, so I moved into Sandomir's. Uh, okay. I can give up uh, Lower Silesia. Let me just check something. I I have had my eye on it for a wee while. I'm, I'd happily I'd happily give you the uh, the other one. I just want to check if this is part of the de jure. What's it? Uh, Sandomir's. Oh, maybe not, actually. Ah, I could probably abandon it then. Uh, oh, they've, it's got such a glorious American flag. Glorious. <laughs> it's quite American. Eh? Oh, it's part of the Duchy of Lesser Poland, which includes most of my realm. That's... I got confused because I thought, ah, you have Lesser Poland. I think I think we've both taken the wrong thing. I think I've taken something that's part of Greater Poland. Jeez. Um, how can I get these other ones across to you? I don't know. Is there a way I can grant them independence? Like, give them to some random courtier, say, yep, there you go, you're independent now. Um, by the way, watch out for that, your neighbour. Let me, let me check that. I'll see if I can grant independence to... The guy who I accidentally gave land to. 
Have you heard of the story of Darth Pl Oh no, he's jeez. Oh, um Yeah, I can do that once I'm not at war. So I will grant the rest of it to someone else. Uh who is terrible and who do I want to get rid of? Preferably to death. Ah, these are all good. I know there's like ways to like invite useful people to your court. Is there a way to invite useless people to your court? Yeah, okay, this guy's pretty useless. Privislav. What about the blind woman? Oh yeah! Oh no, she wouldn't be part of my court because I didn't hire her after all. Uh, I think I'm going to have to capture at least one of these in order to force a white piece. Okay. Right, so I'm granting Prezemko... I'll grant, I'll grant them also one person, actually. To Pribislav Pre, of Prezemko. Oh, jeez, my spy master has gone. Sorry, this is wrecking my court. Um, I grant them also a claw. Um, right, where was I? Prezemko, you get Rocklaw. Good. Yeah, the last time I've done that, it's only, like, taken the ones that, like, are quite close to me. It's not giving me the whole thing. You need, uh, I think you need to check what it'll give you, because um, if it's the, if they hold the um, de jure duchy uh, counties. So be it. Right. Grant independence. Uh, okay. Uh, grant independence. You are at war. Oh, I'm still at war. I'm still in Reese's war. Uh, but I have no intention of fighting that. So, and I'm sure Reese will win quickly. Hang on. Did you? I think you won that war before I actually enforced my white peace. Uh, you signed a white peace with me. Oh, I see. No, I think because I it wasn't you that I was targeted with a white piece. It was um, Sandomiris, but I think like you must have taken precedence in the yeah. resolution order. So like you you won first, and then I made a white piece with you. Yeah, I sent you a white piece, and it said you would decide, and then we signed a white piece. But I guess if you'd sent sent a white piece, and I both, and we both sent a white piece, I think, and yours ended up on my doorstep. So, ah, uh, just want a quick look at Kuyavia in its at its greatest extent before I get rid of all of that stuff. Get rid of. Well, you know. Mm. Yeah, how how can I increase my piety? To be honest, wars I can't really declare because of piety. Um, sorry, cat is meowing at me again. Unless you can you go on pilgrimages. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, executing certain people is good as well. Oh, do I have prisoners? Um, I wonder. Oh, I Wonder, actually. Yeah, just a minute, Kat. Hold on. 
See, the thing is, I'm almost... I don't know. I could grant... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chattery cat. Hum. Who is Dorof? He's just chattering away. I don't yes, know. Yes. Uh, the mighty Costelia. Oh, I lost stuff because of that. Oh, well, did you? I think so. I I shared in his defeat. Right. Let's. <laughs> no executions uh, cost me piety. Only if you execute people of your faith. If you execute other people, well, right now, which bit are you wanting to, um, are you wanting to take? Uh, I have the chieftain of Kiawe, which if I granted him independence, he would, um, you could kill him and link up your lands. Yeah, that would be useful because uh, looking at it, Lower Silesia doesn't actually infringe on any of uh, Greater Poland. It was just that I was going to go for it. Yeah. Um, but if you're happy, I mean, unless uh, I mean, I don't think Kuyavi itself is part of your uh, of Kuyavia's de jure, is it? Because I think it's actually separate. It's part of. I don't know how I got. I honestly don't know how I got the high chieftain of Kuyavia. I think it's because I can't capture some lands to the north. Um, I've now got the stuff for, like, lesser Poland. Um, so Kiavia isn't as big a deal. Oh, I lose Dread if I do this? Ugh. Getting a weak hook in him. There you go. So I negotiate his release. Ooh. Um, I then say... Oh, I then say, give me a better map mode, please. He's out of my dungeon. I then say... Why can't I grant him independence? He's my de jure vassal. Eh? Okay, back to the first plan then. If I grant this guy independence, which I can do... Right, so if I create the title... Oh, hang on. Can we pause this a second? I need to get rid of some lands. I'm at eight of five. I wondered why I was getting bad events. Right. If I create the Duchy of Lesser Poland, which I can do. So that is your main. Primary title, yeah. I can then um, make primary. My son Chungus is my new player heir. Yeah, that he already was, but okay. Uh, I then say, can I destroy that title? Yeah. Uh, okay. Can I destroy the High Chieftain of Kiavia? Destroy title. Everybody, all my, all of my vassals hate me, and I lose four hundred prestige for that. Oh well. Didn't need it anyway. And then I can grant him independence. He's no longer my vassal. Hey. Right. Let me. So, check on him. He has a truce with you, which isn't going to help him. <laughs> yeah. Fifteen men, you say. Vastly clear, you say. <laughs> Declare war! Freshly minted. Not even going to gather all my troops for this one. Uh, he might get more than 18 men is the only only thing. It might, once it figures out all the calculations. It might then figure that out. Right, I need to give away some titles still. Uh, right. Who do I like? Who do I not like? I forget how who you should prioritize for granting titles. Any any suggestions from the from the peanut gallery? I usually give them to lowborns so that they won't risk being lost. Oh, that's an idea. Lowborns with high stats. That's a very good idea, actually. That's a great idea. Uh, 
We need to do something about Belarus. I'm allied to them. We need to do something about Belarus. Where is Belarus? Belarus, Belarus. Because the way I see it, um, bear to be, you'll expand southwest and south. Yeah. Still, you'll expand west towards uh, Denmark and northern Germany. I'll continue around the Baltic. Um, currently being squeezed by by Belarus. Um, and really, Grum can do whatever he likes. <laughs> That's pretty much what Grum is doing already. <laughs> I'd say Bohemia is looking like a pretty tempting target. So if you grant, um, hmm. if I married this guy to someone, oh, could I could I arrange his own marriage? Hmm, maybe not. I just wondered if I could if you can marry someone to like a woman of non childbearing age, and then they have no heir, so it reverts back to you. Hmm, an interesting thought. Sorry, I've sorted out my... I mean, they'll be lost anyway when you have a succession event. Um, I only have one duchy level title, though, and I don't think I can create any. I'm not sure if you can, or if I can or not. No, I meant your domains in general. Uh, your, yeah, your domains in general. Like, I don't put a huge amount of stock into them. I just basically keep my primary one. Which in my case would be Quark, uh, and then the rest of them, they just kind of come and go. Yeah, but they can be quite powerful if you use them correctly. I don't know. I don't think this game cares too much whether you're playing it correctly or not. No, it I mean... will still find a way to stick the knife in. You know, what I, it. you know what I mean, though. Possessions are fleeting. Let's do the time warp again. As a great scholar once said. Oh, I can't declare war because I no longer have enough prestige. Uh, destroying that title cost me. Oh well. I suppose I should let my um, let my poor depleted levies, um, you know, recover. So I'm going to try and usurp uh, Greater Poland as well. So hopefully that should shatter. Um, what currently calls itself Greater Poland. All right. A bit easier for you to pick off. Uh, they're still allied to people. So, whoever they become, they'll still have to. <laughs> the 2,500 men of... Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's um, yeah. Quite, quite filthy, really. Uh, yeah... Ah, time to crack open my secret stores. Valuable hostage captured, you say? I bet that guy, he'd been languishing in my dungeon for so many years, and I finally let him out and be like, be on your best behavior, and by the way, you're independent now. He must be thinking, right, everything's coming up, Millhouse, and you've already won. Blooming it. And then, like, three days later, he's dead. <laughs> well, he's yeah, not dead. Uh... No, that's true. He's just he's just a wandering Stateless. nobleman now. Yeah, wow. Although I did capture his steward. Let's see if he's any use. What a wonderful name. He's trying to buy happiness. He's drowning out his past by constantly buying fripperies. Oh, wow. He's got an aggravated wound, severely injured. Uh, he's a eunuch. Mo, what did you do to him? I did <laughs> nothing. If there's any suspicion to be cast, I would suspect oh. it would be on the tortures he encountered. Oh. I don't think I tortured him, though. Did I? I don't think I tortured him. 
I mean, I don't think I did. I don't remember I mean, touching him specifically. Do you know what a uh, dynasty legacy is? No, that's a good question. No. I believe I... it's like a, oh, a right, bonus yeah. that applies to your um, lineage. How can you, you unlock fame? that already? Blimey, Nick. I've got Renown of 1001. Wait, how is my cousin, the blind, drunkard, one-legged guy? It is almost literally the one-eyed, one-armed, one-legged guy, the head of my house. Sorry, Grum. I've just w looked at my own dynasty there, and my cousin, the blind, one-eyed, one-legged guy, is head of the house. Uh, time to form a cadet branch if ever I saw one. Sorry, carry on. I'm just seeing. Yeah, it does seem to give you perks. Yeah. Your bloodline. They're like permanent perks for your entire house, I think. Ah. Ah, King Jackoff joined this war. What King a what? guy. You heard me. You heard me. <laughs> King Jackoff with his army of Kampalung. <laughs> what are the names doing in this, honestly? decided to make my bloodline vibrant. Nice. What does that one do? What does that do? Uh, courtier and guest opinion plus 10, and better guests will be attracted. Hmm, nice. Not bad. So basically, yeah, kind of Muscovite Russia. Um... My mm -hmm. ear, ear is not doing well. I got a lot of folks <laughs> now as well. Oops. And his wife also has great talks on his adventures. <laughs> what the hell is going on in my... Yeah, wounded lover's pox one like it. He's a great fighter, or he was. Yeah, he's he got was a, a prowess... fantastic duelist in his he's, day. He's got a prowess of zero now. What? Mm -hmm. He was an amazing duelist. <laughs> Until he lost a leg and an arm. An eye, and apparently his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> he just rotted and fell off. Oh, I've been ignoring chat, sorry. Hello, little noise marine. Hello, Nibface. Nibface is telling me to invade Bertie B. Bring it. Wow. <laughs> sorry, I've just taken a look at, at Kreslov. Uh, yeah, he does not look long for this world. Might want to disinherit him. <laughs> Can you not make him, take, make him take the vows or something? I mean, he's already got the great... But your other son is maimed and scarred as well. Now, <laughs> what have you been doing to your yeah. family? <laughs> other ones look, we're all like... dummy thick. Do you mean, like, dummy maimed? <laughs> <laughs> have you been taking lessons on how to raise a family from Crumb? Like torturing your children. Um, so yeah, um, my uh, one of my vassals. Um, uh, so, so I I'm apparently like looking for secrets in my core. Everyone is either a deviant or a sodomite. <laughs> Why not Which both? Again, for me, no problem. For the game. <laughs> Wait, a deviant and a sodomite. So presumably they're deviant in ways in additional to sodomy. Oh, no, 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 this is three separate people. Two are deviants and one is a sodomite. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. Everyone needs a hobby. As I somehow keep saying. <laughs> it very much has become a catchphrase. Wow. Oh, I should really convert this thing if I'm going to inherit it. Mm, I should really, really get a better church guy. How do I check my uh, line of inheritance? 
How do you mean? Oh, yep, they were going in succession. That's fine, as long as I have several options for when they inevitably fail. Yeah, but your player, your player air is the one you will play as. For about five minutes before he collapses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got pox of his wooden leg. In fairness, my physician managed to do some fairly severe treatment quite successfully. Is this the blind <laughs> lunatic? No, it's your cut physician. Off. We My physician's actually the other competent. Leg. Cut off the wrong leg. the humors. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, can I not appoint myself as my own court chaplain? I have got such high learning. Yeah, but you'd have to hold confession for yourself. She's oh, caught up with the army of five. Oh, for being quite strong when they entered this war, Bartia have gone down like a sack of rags. I'm already at max battle war score. Max battle war score is my favorite. Yeah, you fill in the rest. Breakfast cereal? Breakfast. Max <laughs> battle oh, war score. I'm going to begin. Max Battle War score as well. <clears throat> the Breakfast of Champions. I still like the little reference to Costello I put in my comic. Costello's Flame and Salt flavor. Which I kind of imagine to be like Cheerios, but with the flavor and texture of Doritos. Mm. Uh, sounds awful. You're welcome. I'm a bit concerned about Kazaria, who are like one barony away from from touching me. What? Kazaria. You know, that big horde thing that owns like half of, you know, Crimea. They're not and, a horde, are they? Uh, Kazaria sounds kind of hordy. No, they're uh, like the only Jewish empire in this game, I think. Kazaria. They're not they're, <laughs> they're not they're not Jewish. I believe they're supposed to be. They're they 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 worship some. They pretty uh... <laughs> can't even talk. No, they um they they uh, I was reading an article about um I'm sure it was Kazaria. Uh, Are you sure it's... it's not one of the ones in Africa you're thinking of? Because there is a like Kasala or no it was uh, it, I, I remember thinking it was a bit odd at the time but there was like a good historical reason for it they I mean in the game they're not they're Taltsoism and they seem to have some kind of centaur as their thing ancestor worship astrology auspicious birthright uh, they're an unreformed Uralic faith um, I yeah. will need to check that not the thing that you're telling me, the article that I was... Uh, no, no, that's, that's fair enough. Uh, they are tribal, you are right. They are not a horde. Yet. They could be a good meat shield. From... Further hordes. Yeah. The, I wonder if when the events start happening to, to raise the hordes. Because there is the Kyrgyz Khanate, who are also tribal. Uh, hmm. Okay. I wonder if hordes... Losing secret letters. Sorry. What? <laughs> like, I've just had three notifications about a secret letter lost. What? <laughs> Who have you been writing letters to? I don't know. It's like one of my uh, council people. I apparently have been losing my letters. <laughs> yes, losing. Hmm. Well, that's right. I was trying to find a new court chaplain that isn't called a court chaplain. Uh, relation, all diplomatic range, yes. Ruler, no. Adult, yes. Uh, I don't think gender is important. Okay, religion, probably mine. Are, are you sending me secret letters, Grom? Your dimples are better than a ham in winter. I really want to have you close, that I may know the warmth of your embrace. Please be the hell.